In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use a particle system and the explode modifier to make an explosion effect and a break apart collapse effect. Press X to delete the cube, add mesh UV sphere, press G for grab, Z for the Z axis, 7 and enter. Click the physics tab and click add active, add mesh cone, press G for grab, Z for the Z axis, 1 and enter. Set the total length of the animation to 150 frames, click play and pause and find the frame where the sphere hits the cone which is about frame 23. Select the sphere, click the rewind button, drag to make the properties window wider, click the particles button, click the new button. To give an explosive effect a thousand particles are going to be emitted in a single frame Frame 23, set the start frame and the end frame to 23. In this version of the explosion, the fragments are not going to disappear, so set the lifetime of the particles to 150 frames. Scroll down and in the physics panel, set Brownian to its maximum value 200 for a powerful explosion, and in the render panel, click None. Click the Modifiers button, click the Add Modifier button, click Explode, tick Cut Edges, click Play, and we get an explosion effect. To make a version of the explosion where the fragments disappear, untick Dead so that when the particles die, the fragments disappear with them. Click the Particles button, scroll up, set the Lifetime to 60, and set Random to 1. Now when we press Play, the fragments eventually disappear. Next, I'm going to look at a cube breaking apart. File, New. Press G for grab, Z for the Z axis, 7 and enter. Click the physics tab and click add active. Add mesh cube. Press S to scale, Z for the Z axis, 0.1 and enter. Press S to scale, hold down shift and press Z. And that enables you to scale in the X and Y directions but not the Z. Press 7 and enter, and click the Add Passive button. Press Play and Pause, and find the frame where the cubes collide. It's about 28. Select the cube, set the total length of the animation to 150 frames. Click the Rewind button, drag to make the Properties window wider and click the Particles button, and click the New button. We want the cube to break apart at frame 28, so set the Start frame to 28, and the End frame to 28. Scroll down, and set Brownian to 30. We want a break apart rather than an explosion, and set Render to None. Click the Modifiers button, Click the Add Modifier button, click Explode, tick Cut Edges, pressing Play. The fragments are too big and they pass through the surface. To make the fragments smaller, go into Edit Mode, click the Subdivide button and I'm going to increase the number of cuts to the maximum value of 10. Go back into Object Mode. To stop the particles going through the surface, select it, click the Physics button, 
click the collision button and tick kill particles. Pressing play, the only problem now is that the fragments continue to jitter. The movement is caused by some of the fragments occupying the same space which the rigid body physics system doesn't like. To turn it off, select the cube and right click on the animated tick box and insert a keyframe at frame 1. To turn the physics engine off at frame 40, go to frame 40. Make change, tick the animated tick box which will turn off the physics engine. Right click and insert keyframe. Rewind and play. And the cube disintegrates. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished files for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.